Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan, innovation that excites. In a matter of moments, Keith Osceola will hop aboard Renegade. The spear will be flaming. He'll venture to the 50-yard line, and when that spear sticks into the turf, you know that the Seminoles are ready to go. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Dope Campbell Stadium in beautiful Tallahassee, Florida. And we're looking forward to a great game coming up. Before we head down to the field for the coin toss, we'd like to remind you this game is brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coke tastes zero calories. Enjoy everything. All right, guys, we are back with the Minnesota Golden Gopher Dynasty, and we are trying to get to 2-0 today, playing against Florida State after a really big win last night against uh, Cam and the Open oh, Brooks. We are ready to go. And he kicks it off, and he got all of that Florida one. State in Dope Campbell Stadium. He's to the 10. And, uh, they're actually a pretty solid team. He makes team. it out to maybe the 20 yard so line. It shouldn't Walker be too easy to look at one of the top time. quarterbacks in the country. We should be looking forward to this. Anderson's decision making abilities yeah. make him very we effective. Last last week against against him. Well, defenses um, have to put pressure on him play, and not let him get comfortable. If you allow him to scan the, the field, game. he'll simply pick you apart. If you can disrupt his rhythm, it'll give you a chance to at least shut So here we go. The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. Big first run by Jeremy Moody, and he's going up the left side. He's at the 45, 40, 35, breaks the tackle. He's at the 25, down to the 15, 65-yard run. First play from scrimmage, Jeremy Moody, who had a hard time getting going last week, comes out and gets a 65-yard run on the first play of the game. And Minnesota in the red zone. After just two offensive, or after one offensive play, excuse me. He's taken down. And he's going to lose one on this one. First one red option defense. Penetrate the offensive line. Uh, before so, that play even had a chance. Ball at the 16 for Minnesota. Three wide receivers. Got two back there in the offset pistol formation. And he's going to throw it to the freshman redshirt king. Touchdown, Minnesota. Three plays. And they take it. 81 yards. And six plays for Minnesota. 55 seconds off the clock. And this offense is already in its groove. 456 remaining in the first. Florida State can get the ball for the first time today. So here comes the offense. At the Seminoles have a pretty good offense of their own, but they're going to get up against one of the best defenses in the country from a year ago. And one of the best defensive ends who just got in front of that one and Kevin Rhodes with the deflection. I don't know if he's starting to peak. Like I said, his defense is pretty good in their own right. In his hands, he just dropped it. Kevin Keon almost got to the quarterback, and then Kevin Rhodes almost with the pick that time. It's gonna be second down and ten for Florida State. And that's a blessing. It is he throws and Robinson gets this one. The sophomore, the junior red shirt, is gonna take this one all the way down to the two-yard line. 
and it's going to be first and goal for Minnesota. Otherwise, this corner. We are not even a minute and a half into this game, and Minnesota already threatening to take control of this game early. Minnesota is up by a touchdown, and they're going to hand it off inside Jeremy Mooney. He walks in the end zone untouched. 13 nothing touchdown Minnesota. 4.42 left in the first. And the Golden Gophers with a lot of momentum at their back right now. So here comes Florida State out for their second drive with an absolute disaster, almost throwing a pick six Here's a step in the match on the last drive. Two plays, nothing. So we'll see what they do here. They're going to try to run it up the middle. And they get about six yards. Roddy Lee right up the middle at second and four for Florida State. From their own 31 yard line. Second down and four. That's coming. Leap to the right of him. He might have a the read option, and Massey is going to stop him after that. So he keeps it, and he gets a big first down. down. The quarterback and made a very good State's decision here first not first to pitch. He saw a break in the defense and just hit it for a big game. And, oh, my God. He's at midfield. Makes it to the 47. 12 yards on that run, and it's first and 10. Getting past the defensive lineman and into the secondary like before he can be stopped. It's first and 10. Minnesota. Ball on the 47-yard line. First down and 10. They're come out. Base formation. And they're running right at him again. And it's a leap. at the 30. 17 yards, and it's and first down and 10. Now. The is doing a nice job with first downs, and they're executing well. State the but ball the defense is just letting them maintain the possession and move the ball right down the field. They've got to try to change things up with their scheme. Be more aggressive, attack, do some things to change it up, take some risks. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 30-yard line. With the read again. He's at the 20. He's tackled at the 14-yard line. 15 yards, and it's a first down and 10. Minnesota's 13-yard line. From the 13-yard line, it's second down. And it looks like they might be bringing some pressure here. Feeds it to the back. And they're going to stop it. And he's tackled right around the one-yard, two-yard gain. It's going to be third down and seven. At the 12 now. This is the eighth play of this drive. So... Third down, seven for State. And he throws it away. Great Fourth and seven. Getting Sonoros. after that quarterback, and right now I think they've got a field goal here, and they will. And they get it. So it's going to be 14-3. Florida State. Minnesota on top here. Lucky to get away with three points away. That drive is going. Stevens is going to take it from the five. Stevens from the six. And He's got Stevens the corner. To the outside. Stevens is going to get a nice return out of this one across the 50. Minnesota's coaching staff. Just like that, it's first and 10 for Minnesota ball at the 40. Well, these players are obviously listening to that because it's nice to see this offense be able to move the football and then take advantage of opportunities. Right now, they have been flawed. So first down and 10 for the Golden Gophers. Let's see how they do here. He's going to get it out to Barnes, who gets an eight-yard reception. It's going to be second down and eight. That makes it second and two. So it's second down oh, and about two yards to go. Ready? So it's 
see they're going to run it with Moody up the middle. Moody gets nine yards. It's first down and ten for Minnesota. That makes it first and ten. Call at the 31-yard line. Come out with the split offset, split formation with the shotgun. And Anderson's going to keep this one himself. He gets four yards. Keeper. Put the second down to six for Minnesota. That makes it second and six. All now at the 27 yard line. Second and six coming up here. Ball on the 27 yard line. Second and six. They're going to get Matthews in motion here. And. Big handoff to him. There he is. He's Moody got the corner. The Moody makes a man miss. Six yard run, first and ten. Really to watch Gophers. this guy grow with this defense. That was his first tackle. But Great I can't move by Moody. He's got hundreds and more coming. The Gophers are in the red zone. Just like that. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. It's the tailback. Good outside run there. Four, four yards. Six. Up about four yards on the play. Second and six. Ball on the 16. And they've got all their DBs in there to match up against the five wide set. Over the middle of the Barnes, and he's in the end zone. 16 yard touchdown reception. And the Gophers are up 20 to 3 on Florida State with 42 seconds left here in the first quarter. All Minnesota. Good head to ball. They need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start leaning into this deficit, they could easily fall yeah, out of the game. They got. They do run it again. The 28 yard line. Great yards. job by the running Second back, and that's a gain of nine. It's second down now. They're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Nice run there by the tailback, and it's good for the first. Solid five-yard pickup. He was almost able to get to the secondary, but as it is, he still manages to move the sticks. We've reached the end of the first quarter, and so far it's been pretty one-sided. 21-3, Golden Gophers. to the action now here in the second quarter. Picked off by Eric Stevens on the screen pass, and he's going to walk in, and that's going to be another touchdown. Second interception of the day, pick six, Eric Stevens, and the Minnesota Golden Gophers are on top, 27-3. As soon as this second quarter starts, Florida stayed really in trouble now. Wow. Woo. It's going to be interesting now to wow. see if this quarterback so just like that. Throw behind him. Florida it's State in a lot something. of trouble. In a game like this, your offense and your defense are both misfiring, and the other team is taking advantage of it. And it's going to be a 16 yard reception first down. Out of the games like this. The defenders are really going to have to get their heads into this game. That was a big play, and on first down, no less. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41 yard line. Picked off by Massey, and it's the third interception thrown of the game by Washington. And this one, the strong safety, Alex Massey, coming through, and it's first and 10 for Minnesota. This entire game. In Florida State territory. Threw that one in the double coverage. Don't know what he was doing. But Minnesota about to make this game ugly if they score on this possession. 
Minnesota. First down and 10. Florida State coming with the blitz. They go with the screen. Moody, he's got his blocker set up downfield. He may go. He's at the 10, the 5, and it's a 34-yard reception. And Minnesota threatening again with 5 minutes and 20 seconds left here in the second quarter. And the Gophers about to blow this game wide open. It's first down. They'll be looking for six. And Moody, the next play, and he gets down to the one-yard line. It's going to be second and goal. And Jeremy Moody. Golly, I mean, you just couldn't draw up a better start for this game for Minnesota than the one that they've had. I mean, good Lord. Everything has gone their way. And he's going to go out to Jackson on the screen. Touchdown, Minnesota. 34-3. to 444 left in the first half, and the Gophers absolutely punishing the Seminoles right now for every mistake that they've made. And it's 35 to 3. Last drive. Wow. So I think they're going to be looking for a little more success right here. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease I could have had right and they make the 22 yard reception first down and 10. From their own 45 yard line, first down. Intercepted by Robinson. That's his second of the game. That's the fourth that Washington has thrown here in the first half. Minnesota. The defense is fired up. And I'm telling you what, I don't know if Florida State's going to be able to climb out of this hole at all. This game may be over in the first half. Wow. Minnesota comes to the line holding that commanding lead. We're going to go play action here. You're going to go up the right side to Jackson. Breaks a tackle inside the 20 and in the red zone again goes Minnesota. They get Tom Jackson on the wheel right out of the backfield. And everything going Minnesota's way today. First and 10. Ball on the 20 yard. Mark Anderson, he's some six passes. He's got three touchdowns. Good Lord. Moody going up the left side, trying to get outside, and he gets seven yards, second down and three for Minnesota. Ball at 13. All right. We're going to go again to Moody. He gets four yards up the right side, and it's first and goal. First and goal from the nine yard goal line. Jackson is in. 41 to 3, Minnesota. With 316 left in the first half. And the Golden Gophers making a statement today in Tallahassee. Good Lord. Just like that, 308 left in the half, and Minnesota with a command on both sides. Throws that one away, second down to 10. Jesse Washington, more interceptions than he has completions right now. Just an absolute beatdown being put on him by the Minnesota Golden Gophers. Wow. Second down, 10 yards. Just what can you say to this? Right now? The At this point, Minnesota controlling the defense, I mean, running it up on offense. And now you've got McKeon getting involved with a sack, and it's third and 18 for Florida State. Bring him up in the conversation about the most good Lord. Absolutely nothing you can do. A perfect game plan for Minnesota. They come out of an empty Just like that. They're going to get him again. Second loss of eight. It's McKeon. Fourth and 26 for Florida State. And Minnesota's going to get the ball back here 
with two minutes and 18 seconds left in the first half. Wow. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens. Probably the worst starting field position they've had all day. And they're at the 47-yard line. He's got to get in the face. And he hits Williams for nine yards, second and Because when you play defense, it's not just about X's and O's. It's about attitude and playing with a lot of confidence. situation here second down and one Minnesota looking to build on this commanding lead here and we're gonna go to Moody up the middle and he's gonna break some tackles break another tackle and he picks up nine yards he's been breaks about three or four tackles on that run and it's a first down and 10 for Minnesota. Wow. Jeremy Moody, welcome to the 2017 season. Waking up this week. I mean, just absolutely going off it's after first down. getting essentially shut down last week. And he hits King that time. Anthony King, 12 yards. First down and 10 for Minnesota. Sometimes all you need to do Ball at the 23-yard line. Just a little bit at the start of the play. Minnesota. The Golden Gophers are just absolutely piling it on. And Moody is going to go up the middle and he gets five yards, second and five. Whew. From the 17 yard line, second down. Five in the red zone today. Minnesota virtually a touchdown every time they've gone in there. And he hits Matthews again. 17-yard touchdown. And Minnesota makes it six for six as they go up 48 to three. The blitz doesn't matter. Florida State just getting stomped on right now by the Golden Gophers with 48 seconds left in the half. It's 49 to three, Minnesota. Last time this offense was out there. Nothing can impact an offense more negatively than being stopped on a series of downs. And he just about got him again that time and he just gets the ball away for a 25 yard reception downfield. I think it starts up. Keon. Veteran offensive line. See what kind of leadership they have to try to change this thing around. Just about got him again. First and 10. Ball on the 50 yard line. And he's hit as he throws. Incomplete pass. Second and 10. For Florida State. Ball at the 50. This defense not wanting to give up anything now after the first half that they've had. Second and 10 for Florida State. McKeon with the sack and loss of eight. Doing a great job of getting and it's going to be third down and 18 for Florida State with under 30 seconds left in the half. He's done a good job of creating wow. pressure, making this quarterback feel him, and almost giving him happy feet back there. He doesn't seem to be in rhythm. Almost broken up by Robinson. Would have been his third interception of the game. It's going to be fourth and 18. And with 23 seconds left, Florida State will punt. And Kevin Rhodes is back. Deep to is back deep return to return the punt. Should he make this returnable? I don't know why you chance at this point. He does kick it out of bounds. It was a horrible the kick. He shanks right off getting the play out of their quarterback that they expected. Maybe this even be better. First and ten with now, 19 seconds left. Ball to 30. Have to be some adjustments made on the other side of the ball. Well, the defense has got to be happy. We're getting close to halftime, so they can go back to the drawing board and try to figure out a way to slow down this quarterback. Uh, I think it, more often than not, you look play back action and here. you think about okay. And he hits Wilkerson, who gets down to the 35. It's first and ten with 14 seconds left. My and Minnesota going with the hurry up here. And Three timeouts remaining. And trying to put pressure on it. They can get this game put pretty well, well away right here if they score. And he's gonna hit Wilkerson again on the outside. Good tackle there in space. Eight seconds left in the half. First time out of the half for Minnesota, and they're inside the red zone. Good lord. From Mark Anders, 11 line. of 11. Down. He's throwing four They'll spread the field with five today. wide. And, 
and he hits Matthews. Touchdown, Minnesota. 55 to three with three seconds left in the half. And good heavens. It's going to be 56 to 3 at the half. And Minnesota has been working for all over just come out play the Seminoles right because now. they've got nothing to lose. And they come out right going after the quarterback again. He gets a 14 yard reception, though, between two defenders. First and ten from their own 39 Florida yard State. Line. First down. The quarterback in the gun. Empty backfield. Five wide receivers in the formation. I don't understand. How he got that one. Wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. Wow. That should have been a sack, but the CPU AI is just twitching like crazy right now. And he's sacked by McKeon. A loss of eight, that's third and 18. Should have been his fifth, but instead it's going to be his fourth. Ball at the 32 now. Defense hoping for another sack here on third and long. Florida State. And Minnesota's defense trying to get off the field again here. Will fourth down and six Long for Florida game. State. Not enough for the first. But the and the defense for Minnesota by getting off the field here with 458 left in the third. And second down. A 56 to Both three. Both squads are digging in now. Ball Let's down see what at the on this line. next drive. Minnesota. And I need to have my first team offense out there for this play because I'm not taking a freaking safety. Not taking it. Take right. their first time out of the hat. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Minnesota looking to put this game away if they score here. Moody. Moody. Oh my goodness. 22 yard run. He had a lot of room that time. If he had a little more speed, he could have probably been gone. But instead, it's going to be first and 10 from the 24 yard line in Minnesota. 24 yard line. It's first Getting down to that sticky spot easily. Gets it. He's in space. Edge. And down he goes. He picks up 13 yards. Yard first and 10 yard for Minnesota. Ball at the 37 now. Mark Anderson, 15 of 15. A perfect day so far. Got his receiver. Yeah. Dropped it. Incomplete. Like Wilkerson is going to drop it. Came up second down. They were 10. all over the place on that zone. play and left the quarterback nowhere to throw it. From their own 37 yard line, it's second down. He's going to hit King. First down. Eight He's out of bounds. First and 10. Coming out to the 46. Moody, at the 35 10 yard more line. yards, and it's first and 10 for Minnesota. Moody up to 146 now on the day. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Go with the screen again. Set up beautifully. Moody down inside the 15, a 22 yard reception in his first and 10 for Minnesota. First down. Wow. <laughs> Mark Anderson, just a beautiful day today. Minnesota looking to add to this big lead here. Jackson. Running this one and he's tackled almost the got in, got stopped right at the line of the game, and it's going to be second inches for Minnesota. 
Try to make it's this a 63 to three the game. Of the from the first down With three minutes and 15 seconds left here in the first defense, third quarter. Two. And Easy Jackson and walks in untouched, and it will be 62 to three, and a score. Minnesota. And a nice 312 left there. in Just the give third it to your quarter. main man anytime you're near the goal line. Perfect job there, of spreading. Out. they show some fight here and try to stay competitive if you're going to get blown out you at least want to go down swinging Up for a two yard loss, and it's McKeon getting in there on that one. That makes it third and three. Third and three for Florida State now. Florida State 0 of 4 on third downs. Can they get this one? Tackle. They do. Open over the middle, second down ten for Florida State. Ball at the thirty-nine. He makes it out to third down the thirty-nine yard line. He gets nowhere. That brings up third and ten. Ball still at the thirty-nine. So we're looking at another third, third down, down here. 10. We'll see if Minnesota's defense can get off the field once again. And sacked by McKeon, a loss of nine, and it's fourth and 19 for Florida State. A buck 30 left in the third quarter, and carrying the ball back here. Up by six. Rhodes is the deep man awaiting the return. He drops it. Uh, Rhodes drops the kick, but and he's pick it back down up at the 37. That's a tough to throw. Whether you lose the ball or not, it line. can mess with your head when that happens. 37 yard line, excuse me. I don't know what and it's going to be first and 10 from the 37 for the Gophers. Through the air. You wonder if they'll go back to that same strategy or will they start to lean a little bit more on their ground game? And he hits boring. It's a very impressive. They're 23 yards, first and 10. Gophers. And offense still moving here pretty easily. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 41. Minnesota with a big advantage. He's at the third. And he's tackled right away. Minnesota first and 10. Just moving with ease all day on the Seminoles. First and 10. He's under some heat. And he gets King over the middle down to the four yard line. 26 yard reception. First and goal. It's first down, and they'll be looking for six points here. 300 yards passing. 
give this one to Jackson. Touchdown. He walks in untouched again. Third touchdown of the game for Tom Jackson, and Minnesota goes up 69-3. That's his third trip to the end zone. If I were the head coach of this football team, I would give him the ball at least 30 times a game. Not a whole lot's been working for them so far. They should just come out and play loose and easy because they've got nothing to lose. Defense for Florida State now. I mean for Minnesota. Fires up. There he goes. He's at midfield. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 46. 28 yards. First down and 10 for Florida State. down 10 yards to go ball on the 46 and that's going to be in the third quarter minnesota absolutely stomping we head to the fourth Florida quarter and this one is well in hand pretty much the golden over. gophers with a huge lead Just trying to get out of here clean without any injuries or anything else 70 to 3 minnesota not minnesota. sure there's any hope for a comeback here in the fourth quarter but kirk and i are praying Complete over the middle. He's taken down. For the 25 reception. First down, 10. Four, four, six. From the 25 yard line. First down. defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Going for it all to the end. Almost intercepted by Brandon Robinson. The defense really missed a goal Third down opportunity down. there. That's what separates State a good player State. from a great player. When you have a chance like that, you need to take advantage of it. Third down, and they need to get it to the 15. They spread the field in the gun with five Third wide receivers. Florida State to come out with five wide receivers. He's under pressure. And sacked. He is drilled at the 34. And that was Buster Kelly getting his first sack in the year. Fourth down and 19 for Florida State, and they're going for it. There we go. He's under pressure. And tripped up by McKeon, and that's another sack McKeon. for him. That sack puts him in a tie for the all first record for sacks in a game. Minnesota ball at the 42 yard. Both teams are playing and out the stretch. You want to get experience for guys who normally get offense. in the game and try to avoid injuries. Minnesota comes to the line. They got a big advantage in this one. Moody. Nice run to the outside. Gets seven. Moody gets seven yards on the play. Three. Three yards to get the first here on second down. He makes it to the 48-yard line. First and ten for Minnesota. Five hundred yards of total offense for Minnesota. One hundred and sixty-seven. Florida State. And he carries the ball for a nice game. Moody gains around six yards on the run. That'll make it second and four. It's 
So it's second down now, and they need about four yards to pick up the first. Hilkerson, now bring it catch at the 31. Yards, first down, 10. It's his third of the game. All 31. What a move by Moody, and he's in the open at the five, and is he going to get in? He does. 31 yards, and Minnesota and Jeremy Moody one more time. Look at this move right here. Spins out of one tackle, jukes and makes two men miss, and then he muscles through this last tackle to get into the end zone. With 2.50 left in the fourth quarter, Minnesota 77-3. 2.42 on the clock. And it'll be interesting to wow. see how much fight this team has left in them. This has been a brutal game. Just under three to go in regulation. What a game Minnesota has played today. He's on the run. And they make the stop wow. at the 47. First 10 for Florida State. And they have sent the start right back out there because the second team defense is ass cheeks right now. From their own 47 yard line, first down. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And he hit that five at the 39. Loss of eight. Second down and 18 for the Seminoles. That'll make it second and long. And he throws it away. It's third down. When you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 43. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. Quick throw. Intercepted by Robinson, the third of the game for him. The fifth interception thrown by Florida State. And Minnesota with a buck 50 is just going to ride this clock out and take the win. Just what a game for the Gophers. Little handoff. And Minnesota. He's his way to the 30-yard line. 77-3 right now. And that's Jeremy Moody going over 200 yards in this game. Running the ball. From the 30-yard line, it's first down. Just over a minute left. Jeremy Moody just running through people. Eight yards, second and two. All up to 22. I mean, they're running right at him right now, and it, there's just nothing they can do to stop him. Jeremy Moody, seven more. It's going to be first to 10. He's up to 220 yards rushing. Good heavens. First and ten. Ball on the 15-yard line. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Makes it to the 12-yard line. Three-yard gain by the running back. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Got his tight end. Touchdown. 83 to 3, Minnesota with another touchdown pass by Mark Anderson. And that's going to be all she wrote. 84 to 3 will be the final. And Minnesota comes to the top. Know that they have to enjoy Absolutely the opens a can. Well, that'll definitely be in his future, but for now, he needs to sit back.